In these problems, we are trying to factor quadratic expressions that have a negative leading coefficient. The thing to do when you have a negative leading coefficient is get rid of it. Factor it out if you can. If you can't factor that whole number out of everything, uh, then just factor a negative 1 out of everything and then factor as you normally would. Let me show you how that works. Uh, in this first one, we have a negative 6 as our leading coefficient, and it looks like, yeah, everything here can be divided by a negative 6. So let's go ahead and factor out that whole leading coefficient, a negative 6. So we're dividing everything by negative 6. So negative 6x squared divided by negative 6 is just a positive x squared. Negative 48, that'd be a positive 8x. And negative 72, that's positive 12. OK, so we factored out a negative 6. Now we can just focus on this piece and try to uh, factor it as we normally would. Let's see, everything's positive here. So I'm going to have x plus something and x plus something. And it has to multiply to 12 and add up to 6. Ah, sorry, add up to 8. That's going to be 2 plus 6. Yeah, that checks out. So our final answer here is a negative 6 times x plus 2 times x plus 6. Let's try a slightly harder one here. We can't factor out the whole negative 5. 3 and 14 are not divisible by 5. So in this case, we're just going to factor out a negative 1. Um, and actually, I'm just going to write that as a negative sign outside the parentheses. And that's going to flip every sign. So I can just rewrite this as positive 5v squared minus 3v minus 14. Now let's focus on this part and see if we can factor that. We've got a leading coefficient greater than 1. Luckily for us, us 5 only has you know, one possible set of factors here. This is a 5 and 1. So let's just go ahead and write 5v and v. And then we've got a negative sign here. So one of these is going to be positive. One of them is going to be negative. Let's see. And they have to be multiples of 14. So maybe 2 times 7. If I put a positive 2 here, that would multiply by the 5. That'd give me a positive 10. Oh, yeah, and if I put the 7 here, that's not going to work. That's going to give me a positive 3. So I think I just need to switch the signs. So I could put a positive here, and I could, let me fix this, put a negative sign there. Let's see if that works. So... I'm testing the, for the middle term here. I multiply the outside terms and the inside terms and add them together. 5v times a negative 2 is negative 10v. And 7 times v is a positive 7v. That does add up to a negative 3v. So if you FOIL all this out, you should get this. For our final answer, we don't want to forget this negative sign. That's part of the answer. So we have a negative sign times 5v plus 7 times v minus 2. And that is our final answer. So that's how to factor a quadratic when it has a leading coefficient that's negative.